In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom header using the Cadence theme. So I'll be using the Cadence theme along with the Cadence Blocks and the Cadence Blocks Pro plugin. Before we actually jump into the video, let me just show you some of the page speed inside results that I got for this page right here. We don't have uh, a lot of things on this page. These are actually all of these blog posts that I have published on my website. I have only created the header here and I have created the images, uh, the footer here and all of the images that you are seeing here are actually the JPG images or the PNG images and they are not actually optimized. So if we go to the uh, page field insights, you can see the results that I have got is for the desktop we have 94% and here you can see the major problem that we have is related to the images again. And that is why it is asking us to serve the images in the next gen formats. That means we need to change the images to the WebP format. For the mobile though, we got the 82%, which is not bad actually. LCP is 4.8 second and that is because of these images. So if we'll fix the images problem, our results will actually going to get over 95%. If you are interested in learning how to create this kind of header using the Cadence themes and the Cadence blocks plugin, and without further ado, let's get started now. So the first thing that you want to do is to go to the dashboard of your website. And once you will go to the dashboard, you want to go to the plugins options here. And once you will go there, you need to ensure that you have Cadence Blocks activated on your website. And you also need to have Cadence Blocks Pro activated on the website. I also have Cadence Pro plugin activated and that is in order to extend the functionality of the Cadence theme. This is actually the cadence themes pro so if you want to install the cadence blocks what you want to do is to click on this add new button and in here in the search bar you can search for cadence and once you will search for this cadence you will find this plugin that is the cadence blocks and you can install and activate this plugin in order to get the cadence blocks pro you need to go to their website which is cadence theme I think for the cadence, if we'll search for cadence theme on Google, this is their website cadence WP. So you will have to go to their website, which is cadence WP. And from here, you can go to this pricing tab. And from the pricing tab, you can get your license for the cadence blocks pro and the cadence themes pro. So once you will have all of these requisites installed, what you want to do is to hover over to this appearance. And then you want to go to this elements option here or actually you want to click on this cadence and in the cadence you need to ensure that you activate all of these options here so might be you will have these toggled off you need to toggle on all of these options from there and once you will do that then you can go to the website itself so here you can see i am here and now we can actually start building so you will have to click on the customize button and once you will click on the customize button you can see we have very basic kind of header right here so let's just change it to a custom header. So for that, first of all, you need to set the colors that you want to use on your website. So for that, you can click on this colors and font, click on these colors. And here I have set it up these colors already. So I, I'll be using this red color along with this blue color. And then I have set it up some dark colors for all of these fonts. Then I have set it up this subtle background colors. With the cadence theme, you can set up a few of these color palettes. So with these color palettes, if you will switch between these, the colors on your website will change automatically. So this is how it works. And another thing that you might want to do is to change the side background color. I haven't changed the side background color. This is actually the normal background color that comes with the cadence theme. So once you will do that, everything else will be applied automatically. You want to go to the header option here. So once you will go to the header option here, here you can see we have a logo widget or logo module, whatever you want to call it, so I'll call it a widget. So we have a logo widget here and then a primary navigation widget right here. So what I want to do is to align this navigation menu right next to our logo. So right now I don't have a logo. This one is actually the text. Here you can see the text. If you want to upload a logo, you can upload your logo right here. You can click on select logo and then you will have to upload your own logo. I haven't created a logo. So everything that I have is actually right here. So if I'll select a random image that might not look good, but here you can see we have an image here and that will serve as logo. And then from this option, you can choose the logo only. And now you will have only the logo. So I'll get rid of this logo right here. So here I have this text right here. And then with each of these widgets, you get this design option. So if you will click on this design option, now for the text that you have inside of this widget, you can choose the color. 
and then you can also choose the font that you want to apply so i'll choose the uh, default theme that comes with the cadence and then from here you can choose the weight you can choose the semi bold or the bold i'll choose the medium and from here you can define the font size and the line height so i'm comfortable with what i have already now what we actually want to do is to move these navigation menus right next here so for that you want to grab this and then you can bring it here for some cases this primary navigation will not come inside of this container right here so the easy fix for this is to remove this from here and then you can click here and then from here you can choose primary navigation and right here at the top you can see our navigation is now appearing right next to our logo so this is how it works so inside of this very right container i want to have a search button first of all so i'll choose the search widget here so we have this search widget already showing here but just because of the color is white it is not displaying properly so you want to click on this tiny pencil icon here and once you will click on this tiny pencil icon all of these design option will appear here you can read it says header search if you will click on this general tab here you can type in the label for your search just in case if you want to have a label you can type in the label right here and the label should appear right next to it and you can see it here that the uh, container for the search is actually expanded now so if you will go to this design tab here you have this option search colors so if you will change the color to something else you can see now we have this search text and the search icon showing up right there so i actually want to remove this label from here because we don't need that so now we have this search icon here and you can choose between which type of icon you want to have whether you want a minimal icon or you want a simple icon you can choose between those and then you have the settings to change the search icon size anyways you want from this option right here then if you want to have background color obviously you can choose a background color from here just like this apply a background color and the background color will be applied at this thing so i don't actually need a background color so i'll remove this and i'll have the simple search icon right there right next to the search icon we need a button so i'll click on this plus icon here and then i'll choose the button and here you can see we have this button right here i'll click on this gear icon right here and here you can type in your label so by default i have this get a quote button right here if you want you can change it to contact us or anything that you want and here are some of the button style so i have this field option enabled if you want to choose an outlined button you can choose the outline button and this is how the outline button looks and then here is the button visibility option whether you want to display the button to everyone or for the logged in users only or for the logged out user only you can choose between these options right there next up we have the design tab and in the design tab you can choose uh, what will be the size of your button so whether it is a large button a medium button or a small button you can choose the size or you can also define your own custom size here and in that case you will have to play around with these padding settings here i'm good with the medium button i'll keep the medium option here and then in here you will see these two boxes that doesn't have any color applied and all of these colors are actually coming from the color palette that i showed you initially so if you want to if you hover over there you can see it says initial color and if you hover over there it says the hover so this will be going to be our initial color so if i change it to blue you can see the button color is now blue and if i change this color to this red color now if i hover where you can see now we have the red color right here so this is how it works so i'll change it back to red and blue in this way and then if you want you can apply a border color and then from here you can apply your own fonts and if you want to have a button shadow you can apply the shadow right here and you have all of these settings just the way you want right there now that we have the main header created we need to have a top header as well so for the top header i'll click on this plus icon and in the plus icon what i want to include is this contact widget so i'll add the contact widget and right here is actually our contact widget just because we don't have a background color the widget color is white so we need to change the background color so i'll click on this gear icon and here you can see we have this blue color selected i can change it to red or i can keep blue or you can add your own color you can apply the gradient or you can apply the image here as well that is completely your choice right next to it what i actually want is to add the social media icons right there in the very right container so i'll click here and here i'll choose the social and here you can see the social media icons are appearing here 
Now let's just customize the social media icons for that you will have to click on this gear icon and once you will click on this gear icon here you can see we have the option to show the icon label and if you will enable this now you can see we have these icon labels appearing right next to these icons so I don't want these icon labels I'll go to this design tab and in the design tab you can see we have two options filled and outlined I want to have an outline icon so I'll choose the outline icon right here you can have the fill option and then in the background color you will have to make them transparent as you will make them transparent the background color will remove and then from the color you can choose your own color for the icons and that will be applied to all of these icons right next to it you have the color for the hover state you can choose a color for the hover state I'll choose this red color and here you can see now it is in the red color for this contact widget if you will click here you have some of these options if you will click on add contact you can add the hours or the address here also so that is completely your choice whichever thing you want to add if you want to remove anything you can click on remove and they will get removed so this is how you can add all of these things inside of your header now once you will do that if you will go to this header options right here you have an additional option that says transparent header so for example you want to have the transparent header on your website in that case you will have to go to this transparent header settings and then from here you can toggle on the transparent header and it will make the header transparent so for now it is not applying it to anything just because we don't have a background color or the background image that is why you won't be able to see it but it is actually applied here with the images you will be able to see it i'll just toggle this off you can also create some sticky header so if you will choose the sticky header option here and then from here if you will click there here you can decide which part of your header you want it to become sticky so i want to make the main row sticky so this one is the main row and this is the above header area so i want to have the main row sticky only so i'll choose this option now if i scroll down you can see our header sticks right at the top as we scroll through the website now here is another thing you can enable reveal sticky on scroll up that means if i scroll up now our header will appear just fine so as you scroll up your header will appear there is another option that says enable ma main row shrinking if you will enable this option if you will scroll down you will notice that your header will shrink as you scroll down so if i adjust this height for the shrinking if I scroll down now you can notice the header is shrinking more if I reduce this value more it will shrink even more so this is how all of these things works if you want to apply the sticky effect on the mobile you can apply it from here and if you want to have a different logo for your sticky header you can apply the different logo from here. so this is how basically you can create the header now let me just show you how you can make this header responsive so in order to make this header responsive you want to click at this table or mobile option here or you can click these icons that is for tablet and mobile so i'll click this option right here and as soon as i click this option you can see our canvas is changed to the tablet canvas now here is our hamburger and here you can see it says trigger so if you will click on this trigger you have these options right here if you want to add a label you can add a label that says menu and here the menu label will appear right before the towel or the hamburger menu or the hamburger icon so if you will click here you can see this is how it is looking and if you will go to the design tab in the design tab you have the option to change the color you have the option to apply the background color to this hamburger icon right there so if i click here now this thing that appears is actually this off canvas drawer so if we we'll click on this off canvas drawer you can see it says header of canvas so where it says header of canvas you have the option whether you want to have the full width header or the side panel header and then you if you will choose the side panel you can choose which direction left or right that is completely your choice and if you want to move the body with the toggle you can choose this option from here now if i click here you can notice that the body is also moving along with the header so this option is very useful if you want to have this option now if i click here you have some option for the vertical alignment whether you want to align all of your these items in the center you can choose this option if you want to align the items at the bottom you can choose this option and if you want to align them at the top you can choose this option now if you will go to the design tab here you can see you have the option to change the background color so if i click on this pop-up background i can change the color to any color that i want so i'll make this the blue color right here 
And here you have the option to change the color for this toggle cross icon that will be used to close this navigation. So if you want to apply a background color, you can apply the background color from here. And if you want to change these colors, you can change these colors right away from this place. So this is how actually it works. Now here is an additional thing. If let's say you want to add more items inside of this pop-up, it is actually very simple. You will have to click on plus icon right here. And then from all of these widgets that are showing right here, you can choose your own widget. So for example, you want to display the contact information. You can add the contact information here. And next time you will click here, you will notice that all of your contact information will start showing here and you can also move them up or down any ways you want and if you want to add more items you can add more items these can be any number of items that you want so i'll just keep them just the way they are so i'll remove both of these options from here and now this is how our tablet version will look in order to optimize it for mobile you'll have to toggle on this mobile version and now if you will click here you can see this is how the mobile version looking so for example you want to increase the size of these fonts for that you will have to click on this tiny pencil icon right there and then it will open this mobile navigation in the mobile navigation you can see the font size is 14 pixel if you will click here with these numbers right here you can increase the size of your font once you will satisfied you can go back to the desktop version and then you can close this and you can review how your header is looking just click the publish button close the customizer and once you will go to the website you will be able to see your newly created header i hope you have found this video useful if you have found this video useful be sure to hit the like button be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you have any question drop them in the comment section i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can thank you very much i'll see you in the next video